Hi guys, it's Amy. Welcome to my channel, Strength Reversed, or welcome back. Um, I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> I feel like it's been forever, but I know I haven't posted in all of September and probably most of August. It's just been a lot of weird stuff. Um, I knew in August I wasn't going to be able to do much because I have to kind of front load the school year and I'm extremely busy with that and I get excited about planning the new school year and so that takes a lot of time and I, um, you know, you have to make this deposit into the new school year or you have to make the, an investment early on to make it easier for the rest of the school year. And then I got sick in early September, nothing major, just a bad cold or something. Um, but I lost my voice for almost a week. It was, My voice was in and out. It was very strange. I didn't feel too horrible, but I, you know, I just shut up for a while. <laughs> and I didn't really mind doing that. I It just sucked all of the energy out of me. I slept a lot. I remember there were a couple of weekends when I just stayed in my pajamas and slept, and it was wonderful. So the school year um, is off to a challenging start, and I don't really foresee that getting less challenging. It's not the teaching part. It's um, I'm relearning a few things. Um, I am faced a lot of challenges with other adults as far as feeling drained, and um, I'm learning this lesson about I need to rethink where I'm investing my time and energy um, because I'm, I don't feel like my time is respected a whole lot by some people and so I am not going to give it. And so a lot of the things that I've taken care of at work or um, extra things that I did, I'm not doing this year. I felt completely depleted all of September and I finally gave up control. And um, I didn't, I felt like I had said all I needed to say on my YouTube channel and I wasn't feeling very inspired or motivated to make videos. And as the, the weather's changing and Halloween season is upon us, my son and I were decorating a little bit outside. I'm getting really excited for Halloween this year, more so than <laughs> the last couple of years. So I feel like I'm getting my mojo back and I have several ideas for videos. I know I still have to make the video for my new deck, which I've been sitting here looking at it and I'm so excited about it, but I'm almost so excited about it that I'm overwhelmed with what I want to say. And I mean, I got it at the very beginning of the summer. <laughs> and I really haven't played with it too much. But um, anyway, I've thought about it a lot, though. I don't know what the problem is. When it, the time is right, that video is getting made very, very soon here. My goal is October. Um, but I want to tell you about the uh, deck that I got at the Halloween store this year. Last year I told you I got a deck. I've mentioned it several times on other videos and it's just a cheapy, it was $4, like $3.99. Um, I picked it up at the Halloween store and it was just a cheapy version of a, a universal weight. And it's the deck that goes in my purse. It's pretty beat up. It's not super high quality, but it's very talkative and very easy to get along with. And I use it all the time. Um, I use it for daily draws a lot. So I've been very happy with that deck. And so this year early on, it was still September, the first time we went to the Halloween store. And I immediately this time went to the tarot deck section and got what they have for 2019 this year it is eight bucks 7.99 but it comes in now last year and this year the decks are not wrapped in cellophane or anything and last year's deck just came in the little tuck box thing this year's deck has a very nice box with it and it's just labeled tarot cards from spirit halloween and it doesn't say at all what the cards were. 
I did look at it a little and I was excited at first, but then when, oh my gosh, it's falling out all over the place. Then when I got them home, mm, not super excited. They're non-standard, they're not weight-based. Here is the back. So that's okay, they're pretty glossy, if you can see that. Um, they're like ye old standard cardstock, which I'm not a super picky cardstock person. Um, so I can tell the quality is not amazing, but not, you know, whatever, it was $8. I kind of like the back. Um, it doesn't really have that much to do with the deck. The deck is all this color scheme. And it has, you know, astrological symbols and some sort of, well, the Major Arcana has some sort of number here in the corner that doesn't seem to correspond to anything that is meaningful to me, but some people might know what it is. I have looked everywhere online for what this deck is. Every card has a different creature from mythology on it. Some of the cards, and I brought this, I had a tarot meetup last night, and one of the other tarot readers had gotten this at the Halloween store also, and um, we had mentioned how some of the cards don't really seem to have any kind of rhyme or reason as far as which mythological being was put on that card. Um, I do have to take it back to the Halloween store because as I went through it, last year I went through the deck in the store because it's not wrapped in cellophane, it's just loose cards in the box. This year I didn't and I have two Knights of Wands and no Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I know their policy is no returns, all sales final, but if they give me a hard time, I will channel my grandmother and I will get my way um, because that's what happens. So I'm not going to go through the whole deck, but I will show you the major cards, the major arcana. Some of them are pretty cute and some of them are like, huh, what? What's that about? So we have the fool is the fool. That's not really a mythological creature. The magician just says warlock. The high priestess is the fortune teller. I kind of like this one. The empress is Kali. The emperor is the sphinx. The Hierophant says Voodoo Warlock. The Lovers says Succubus, which doesn't really have anything to do with balance and harmony, does it? Um, the Chariot is a Centaur. Justice is a Valkyrie. This is cute. The Hermit is a Yeti we talked about. They mentioned at my meetup how cute this one was. The Wheel of Fortune says Inquisitor. Strength is Manticore. The Hanged Man, Imp. Death just says Death. And you can see the numbers here. I don't know why they picked 40. Temperance is Sea Nymph, so this one is 50. The Devil is Demon. I love the scorpion tail on the devil here. The Tower is Gargoyle. This one I love. The star is the Tooth Fairy, <laughs> which is so cute, right? The moon is werewolf, that kind of goes. The sun is phoenix, which to me reminds me is judgment. Um, in the Robin Wood deck, the judgment card has a phoenix on it, so. In this deck, judgment is Cerberus, 
who guard the three-headed dog who guards the gates of the underworld. And the world is I will not try to pronounce that. Corroborus. Okay. The pictures are are cool, but it's um yeah, it, some, some of them just don't really make that much sense to me, and some of them I really like. So I guess I'll keep the deck if they're willing to fix the, the Knight of Wands problem, which I don't think they will have any problem with switching out a card in one of the other decks. I have looked all over the internet for what this might be called. There are other decks about mythological creatures. Um... The only thing that I can find is Fantasy Creatures Tarot. If you type in Fantasy Creatures Tarot, it comes up to this website, which is um, where this deck is available for digital download. And the little title underneath the picture on that site says Fantasy World Tarot. Um, but you can find the images for these tarot decks on all sorts of just stock sites like Adobe Photos and you know stuff like that and you can get these printed on a yard of fabric or you know whatever so it doesn't seem to be an actual deck that I can find like I don't know why the fool says 300 maybe numer numerology people know what that means you know, I don't know. It went from 1 to 10, and then they started counting by by 10s. So the sun is 100, judgment is 200, the world is 400. I, I don't know. Um, I kind of like the box the most. I don't know. It was only 8 bucks. Uh, it's like a grab bag. I didn't know what it was going to be, and... Um, the, the pictures are interesting to look at. My son will like this deck. I haven't shown him the deck, but he will like looking through all of the different creatures on it. He'll get a kick out of that. And I do love the Tooth Fairy card. That's cute as a button. So, um, I haven't been watching many videos. And I don't feel like I can go back and catch up on the gazillion videos that I have missed. So I have to start back on you, the YouTube universe from where I am now. So if I've missed your videos, um, I, I try to, I'm trying to go back and look through my notifications to see if I missed comments because I do really want to respond to anyone who's commented on videos that I made ages ago. <laughs> So I don't want to miss any comments. If you commented and I didn't respond, then I apologize. It's just because I've been so out of it. I haven't even, I think I've done one Instagram post since I last posted a YouTube video. So I'm catching up little by little. And um, I know there have been some good videos that I've missed because I see the titles of the videos come up on my phone. Um, but I'm glad to be back. I've missed you guys. And... Um, Thanks for watching. If this is your first time joining me, I'm I'm going to you know get some YouTube videos posted in October. So, um I'm glad to be back you guys. I've missed you. Thanks for watching. Bye.